Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an interesting topic to discuss, installing RPM packages on Ubuntu 22.04. Now, Ubuntu typically uses DEB packages, but sometimes you might come across a situation where you need to work with RPM packages. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Let's dive right in. So, you might be wondering, why would we need to install RPM packages on Ubuntu? Well, there are instances where software is only available in RPM format, or perhaps you have a specific application that you want to use, and it's distributed as an RPM. No need to panic, we'll show you how it's done. Before installing the RPM packages, we need to update the system packages to the latest available version. To install RPM packages on Ubuntu, we'll be using a handy tool called Alien. Alien is a converter that allows you to convert RPM packages to DEB format, which Ubuntu understands. Let's install Alien. With Alien installed, we can now convert RPM packages to DEB format. Let's go ahead and demonstrate. This approach involves a direct installation of RPM packages by specifying the I option in the Alien command. Now, let's proceed to download the Google Chrome RPM package and execute the installation using the Alien command. Once downloaded, install it with the following command. Just ignore the warning messages. Google Chrome has now been installed using the RPM package. Let us try and open Chrome now. As you can see it is installed and working just fine. Another method you can use is to install RPM packages by converting them to deb packages. We need to convert the RPM package to the deb package with the previous command. Just don't add the I option. After it is converted to a DEB package just install it the way you would install a DEB package. Congratulations! You've learned how to install RPM packages on Ubuntu 22.04 using Alien. Remember, this method may not work for every RPM package, but it's a good starting point. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time!